Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, I am Rio. Today's video, as you can see, is going to be all about the essentials. Now, to clarify, this isn't going to be every single thing that I think you should have in your closet. This isn't going to be every single type of piece of clothing I think you should have in your closet. But these are just a good rundown of some of the basics. Basic essentials that I think that the majority of people should have. Today's video is sponsored by Fruit of the Loom. And every single piece that I'm going to be showing you today will be linked down below in the description section. So if you see anything that you like, you can find it down below. And if you want to grab any of these pieces, you can benefit by using the code MAGICLINKS20 for 20% off and free shipping. Now that that's out of the way, let's hop into these essentials. First up, we have probably one of the most used pieces in men's fashion as of late. This is gonna be the tank top or the A-shirt, uh, whatever you wanna call it. Of course, there are other names for it. Tank top and A-shirt being one of the most common. These things can be worn standalone, especially in the summer, under a camp collar shirt, a button down shirt. There's some different things you can do with this. I myself am a huge fan of tank tops. I think they really add a nice look, a nice piece of flair. This particular one I have here comes in a pack of 10 and is 100% cotton. It has rib textured fabric, it's tag free, moisture wicking, and mine is a size medium. For size references, I am about six foot one, 165 pounds. So hopefully that helps some of you out there. Most of what I have here is a size medium. If the size differs, which it does for one item, I will mention that to you. But if I forget to mention sizing, everything is a size medium. Next up for the essentials and truly an essential, a basic piece as simple as a white undershirt. Now this undershirt comes in a 10 pack. This is a size medium and a classic fit, tag free, 100% cotton. And this is designed to be worn underneath a t-shirt. So of course we have your undershirt here and the next piece is going to be your actual t-shirt. So what makes one piece an undershirt? What makes one piece a t-shirt? Well, your undershirt is going to be in a thinner fabric, a little more lightweight. It does have a little transparency to it. And then your t-shirt is going to be made in a little more of a thicker fabric, a little bit heavier. So of course the undershirt is designed to be worn underneath your t-shirt. Now here we have a crew short sleeve t-shirt. As you can see, of course, it's in white. Now, this particular piece comes in a two-pack. It's a size medium, feels very comfortable. It's made of breathable ring-spun cotton, and it is moisture-wicking. It has auto control properties built into it. Your simple, essential white t-shirt, you can't go wrong. This is a must. And then we have your black short-sleeve t-shirt. Now, this one is actually going to be a pocket tee, which has a pocket on the left chest. This also comes in a two-pack. I'm wearing the second one right here now, as you can see and both are in the size medium. Ring spun cotton with the moisture wicking and the added odor control. Next up, we have a graphic t-shirt. Now this shirt is gonna be Fruit of the Loom's retro logo tee. The color is in gray, it is a size medium, and as you can see, it has that really retro slash vintage style logo right across the front. The text reads, Fruit of the Loom, unconditionally guaranteed. Lightweight ring spun cotton, classic fit, with of course that retro logo. Next up, we have a long sleeve graphic t-shirt. Now this one's gonna be in white and this is gonna be Fruit of the Loom's limited edition heritage long sleeve shirt. Now this one is a size large. I opted to size up on this one because I felt like the medium was just a little bit too fitted opposed to how I would want this to fit. With long sleeves sometimes, especially long sleeve shirts, I usually like to have those be a little bit more roomier, especially with like actual t-shirts. I like for those to be a little bit more roomier. I just, for some reason, I like the look of that better. And if it's a short sleeve, I prefer for that to be a little more fitted. Just kind of how I am when I, you know, when I wear something, I have an idea how I want it to fit, how I want it to look. And that is kind of how I go with shirts like this. Of course, the body is white with the colorful graphic. The text on this piece reads, Fruit of the Loom was born in 1851 when brothers Benjamin and Robert Knight bought their first mill and started producing cotton cloth and textiles in Warwick, Rhode Island. In 1871, Fruit of the Loom was registered an official trademark, making it one of the world's oldest brands, predating the invention of light bulbs, cars, and telephones. Fruit of the Loom. Definitely a lot of heritage there, which is why this is called the Heritage Long Sleeve. Next up, we have the sweatshirts. As you guys know, sweatshirts are extremely unessential. Everything I'm showing you are pretty much wardrobe basics. Sweatshirts are something that I typically like to wear year-round. Summertime, I like to wear those at night. In the evening, if the weather's 
cool enough for it. If not, of course, I'm not wearing a sweatshirt. Sweatshirt is something you can wear three out of four seasons, so for that reason, it definitely is an essential. This isn't a size medium. The color is blue. It is moisture wicking with the odor protection with rib collar and cuffs. And as you can see, this one is in a blue color, but I also grabbed it in navy and maroon. On Fruit of the Loom's website, it's called the Eversoft Crew Sweatshirt. And the name is pretty true to the actual feel of this garment. It is completely soft. The interior of the sweatshirt, it, I don't, I don't know how to describe it, but it's just, it feels extremely good against the skin. It's extremely soft and it's a piece that I definitely recommend. So if you want to grab any of these, link is down below and they have, I don't know, like 12, 15 different color options of this sweatshirt. So I just grabbed in these three because those are colors that I like to wear. And then of course, something like the blue is a little bit brighter than what I usually wear, but I know I can find a way to kind of mix it in with my wardrobe. Next up, we have a graphic hoodie. Now graphic hoodies are something that I don't usually wear, but something like this I thought was just very clean and had a nice design on it. So it's something that I feel like I can most definitely wear. This one is called the Vintage Striped Hoodie, and as you can see, it's in white with a colorful graphic across the chest. It's in the size medium, and it is lightweight and extremely soft, just like the sweatshirts, and then it has ribbed cuffs and a hem. Next up, we have a zip hoodie, just like the rest of the items. Zip hoodies and hoodies in general are definitely gonna be wardrobe, basics, the essentials. Everything that I mentioned here, in my opinion, falls under that essentials category. This hoodie is called the Eversoft Full Zip Hoodie, and just like the rest of those items, the inside of it is extremely soft. It feels great against the skin. Um, however, you really shouldn't wear a hoodie against the skin. You should wear a t-shirt or an undershirt, some some kind of uh, layer underneath it. That's just the way that they're designed to be worn. This one here is gonna be the color Black Heather. And just like these sweatshirts, there are quite a few color options in this as well. It is a size medium, fits pretty true to size in my opinion. It has a YKK zip a flat draw cord, it's ring spun cotton, ribbed cuffed and waistband, and a front pouch pocket. Sometimes here in my house it gets a little bit chilly and when I'm working or editing, I like to wear a hoodie and most cases I'm wearing a zip hoodie. It's gonna fall right in line with that. One of my favorite things to wear for lounging. These are two separate items, but I wanted to show them together because they are designed to be worn together. They're two separate pieces in the same color. So for that reason, they make a great suit. First up, we have this um, sweatshirt. This is gonna be the Eversoft fleece sweatshirt. Eversoft again, the interior of this thing is, is extremely, extremely soft. This is gonna be in the color khaki heather. Now I'm showing you these together because of course I would wear them together. And this is gonna be the Eversoft fleece joggers. Both of these pieces, oh, also in the color khaki heather. And now both of these pieces are gonna be in a size medium. Soft ring spun cotton, moisture wicking with the odor protection. The sweatshirt of course has a pouch pocket on the front. And then the sweatpants have slanted slip pockets on each side, which are fairly deep so it keeps your items secure and safe. And then the hem of the pants have ribbed cuffs as well. A really comfy sweatsuit, great as we approach the fall season. And then the last essential slash basics that I have here for you today are gonna to be some joggers. Now, both of these are gonna be the same type of jogger, just different colors, so I'm gonna show you them at the same time. The first one we have here is gonna be in black, and then the second one we have here is gonna be in indigo ink heather. Both are gonna be in a size medium. They have elastic draw cords at the waist, slanted side pockets with a back pocket on the right side. These joggers fit amazing. I can't tell you how surprised I was when I put these on, and I was like, Wow, I was not expecting this. Great buy, great pickup in my opinion. Great for lounging, great for comfy wear. Definitely a piece that I recommend. Again, all of these items are gonna be linked down below in the description section. Again, the code MAGICLINKS20 gets you 20% off. That was my list of wardrobe essentials. Let me know what you think about all of the items that I picked up here in this video. Now, if there's any type of essentials or anything that I didn't mention, feel free to comment that down below and let me know. I wanna say thank you to Fruit of the Loom for sponsoring today's video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more content and turn your notifications so you'll be notified every time I drop a new video. That does it for me. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Peace.